guys, welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. I have a slightly different video for you guys tonight. It's not even about Disney. Well, maybe a little bit. I have actually an unboxing for you guys, or you might call it an unbagging. That's right, I did some shopping. I know, shocker, big surprise. As you guys know, this is a travel channel. That is what I do. I travel and sometimes that means I have to buy some new gear. I have to buy some new bags and things that make my life easier when it comes to packing. Well, I did find a few items over at Vera Bradley online that I kind of wanted to check out to see if they would work for me, basically, would these be great uh, bags for traveling, for packing? So I spent about $130. Some items were on sale and I got four completely different travel kind of items. So just so you guys know, I am gonna unbox them or unbag them for you guys. We're gonna talk about it, I'm gonna show them to you and then I'm gonna stuff them with stuff to see what exactly fits in these bags and if they could be the best product for not only me, but perhaps you. Sound great? I will let you know that in this bag, I do have a special birthday gift for my mother. So yeah, happy birthday, mom. I am gonna unbox hers as well and make sure it is the perfect fit for her. But just so you guys know what's in here is I do have a couple cosmetic bags and cases. I have a cord organizer, you know, for all those loose cords and charging situations. And then I found a crossbody bag. You guys know I am always looking for the best park bag to take with you when you're at the theme park. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, guys, first thing up is what Vera Bradley calls a brush up cosmetic case. It's, you know, one of those rectangular cases that has a zipper around it. I wanted to see if it would fit all of my, you know, larger size bottles, the, you know, types of bottles and containers that I can't squirt into smaller bottles, the ones I have to kind of take with me when I travel. I currently have a case for these items, but it's ripping. So I am in the market for a new case. I did get this one on sale. It is a sale print, but I kind of liked it because it was tropical and pretty. So here it is right here. We're going to take it out of the package. As you can see, it comes folded pretty flat, but then it opens up to one of those kind of like handy dandy kind of just travel packs. Um, I know you can get these hard sided from other companies, but I kind of liked that it was soft sided so that if it's not completely full, maybe it would smush better. Is that the right word? Smush better in my suitcase. But this is it right here. You can see kind of the real pretty tropical print. It has a little handle, which makes it easy for you to take out of your suitcase and perhaps put on the vanity. It's got a top zipper here. Ooh, nice. I'm looking at this for the first time, just like you guys. It has a top zipper here to put a few little things. It's got these little uh, holes right here, which I'm assuming would be good for makeup brushes. Do you guys see that? Oh, yep, and it has a nice little flap here so that you can keep your brushes clean. That way, if your brushes do have a little foundation or something on them, it's not gonna stain the upper part of the case. And then it has another zipper, right? Another go around zipper. All right. So you have another little zipper pouch here for a few other items. And then this is the pocket I was most wondering about to see if it would hold my larger bottles of items. But you can see the inside print is different from the outside print. So yeah, should we try it out? I'm gonna go get my stuff and we're gonna see what fits, ready? All right, here it is, nice and stuffed. And I do mean stuffed. I can't believe how much stuff I actually got in here. Plus, there's room for a few more things. So, here we go. The top zipper is mostly for makeup. I mean, I think that's what it's designed for. 
So I was able to put a whole bunch of powder, even my uh, eye, you know, my eyelash curler and a whole bunch of eyeshadow in the top. The bottom, I was able to put anything that could be put inside these little containers. I don't use that many makeup brushes. Some people use a lot more than I do, but it totally fit <clears throat> eyeliner, mascara, a few makeup brushes and stuff like that. And then that zips at the top. So if you aren't, you know, doing your makeup and you need to just kind of unzip a different area, it kind of keeps the makeup in its own little kind of like nook and cranny area. Now, the bottom I just stuffed. Um, normally when I pack my brushes, I just kind of slip in the crevices and corners of things, but I wanted to see how much I could actually get in here. Look guys, it's stuffed. I didn't put anything in this top zippered pouch, but I'm assuming you could put female products in there. You could put, you know, cotton balls, cotton wipes, things like that in there, probably like dental flossers and, you know, stuff like that. But in this main area, I've got my electric toothbrush case, pretty large, a hairbrush, comb, makeup remover, Disney lotion, a container that holds my bobby pins and all my other hair things, backup toothbrush, hair clip, face lotion, face toner, face cleanser, a little body spray, and makeup uh, finishing spray. That was all in here. Oh wait, I'm sorry, and toothpaste. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff. I, um, yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised how much fit in this uh, thing. So one thing I did notice is the fabric in here isn't that super shiny, almost plastic like, you know, wipeable down uh, fabric. And because of the color, it is a lighter shade. I'm assuming this is gonna get stained pretty easily, but it's Vera Bradley and everything, you know, can go in the wash. But yeah, I, I think this is a pretty good contender for me to stop carrying so many different cases and just stick most things in this one case. But I really did love that I could stick a few uh, hair brushes in there as well. So yeah, that was the Brush Up Cosmetic case. Next thing on my list is the one I actually got from my mother and that is the large cosmetic bag. Now, Vera Bradley has several cosmetic bags on their website and my mother knows she's getting a cosmetic bag. She's getting ready to go to Disney here very soon and she needed a bag that was gonna hold the majority of her stuff, right? So she has a little bag that kind of holds her little makeup so she can kind of put that in and out of her purse, but she needed something to hold like her larger bottles and stuff like that. So we went through all the different sizes on the website and we kind of measured and this was the size that seemed to make more sense to her based on other bags she already has in the house. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna check out the large cosmetic case. All right, so here's the large cosmetic case. I did pick out this print specifically for her. It looked, um, it looked a lot like her, kind of reminds me of Mulan with the type of flowers, but it has two main zippers on here. So it's got the big main zipper and look at how wide this opens. Can I just note that? It opens up super wide. You are not gonna lose anything in this bag. I'm also gonna note that it does have that kind of shiny, plasticky like fabric in here. So this would be wipeable, right? Get out a baby wipe, wipe this thing down if your makeup and whatever goes everywhere. But it's pretty big. I mean, it's wide. It opens really wide. It's pretty wide down below, which is why she picked it out, right? And then the front pocket is just a cute, nice little pocket, but it doesn't have that wipeable like material in case you have a leak but yeah this looks great so she could put you know female products in here uh cotton balls you know dental flossers anything in here she could actually put makeup in here if she wanted to some eyeshadow and whatnot and leave this big space right here for the large stuff so i'm gonna fill this sucker up and we're gonna see what fits in the large cosmetic bag all right she's all stuffed this is a hefty case. I will say that everything, minus the little makeup stuff, right, that was in the previous bag, all fit 
in here the only issue i had was my electric toothbrush case was just a little too uh bulky to go in here but what i put in here instead um was my curler brush I like my rounder brush so that fit in here as well but you can see all of that same stuff fits in here with room to spare so you could put a shampoo and conditioner in here i don't have those in here right now i have those in my other bag but you could totally uh, toss in some little shampoo conditioner little squirties in here and be totally fine this bottom section i just put a backup toothbrush but you could totally fill it with a whole bunch of stuff there's still plenty of space in this bag so yeah this is a pretty hefty cosmetic bag so if you're looking for a bag that's going to hold a bunch of just your bottles your shampoo conditioner lotion and not so much your makeup maybe your makeup's already in kind of a different container a smaller container this would be perfect it also would be perfect if you are someone who wears a lot of makeup or packs a lot of makeup and makeup things you could probably also use this just entirely for makeup but basically what i'm saying is this is a nice size case it's pretty hefty it's pretty big it's super cute and yeah i like that the interior was washable so that's it for those two cases were my cosmetic bag cases so we're going to move on the next one on my list is my only disney print that i found i knew i was going to squeeze disney in there a little bit this is the disney cord organizer so i know they have these in non-disney prints but why would i pass up a disney print guys i mean just why so here it is right here i'm going to open it and we're going to see what it looks like inside and actually what cords i can then put inside here so let's check out the disney cord organizer all right so here it is right here before i fill it i wanted you guys to see what the inside looks like first like i said it is disney so i did find a pluto down here we've got a donald right there and i've got mickey over here on the other side so that's pretty cool right but this is the case right here it opens really wide which i love sometimes i get tired of bags that you know are only like a half an inch thick and you can't really you know dig in there and look at it but this one is pretty wide it's got two mesh pockets on the one side where you could probably put a cell phone or like a backup battery case uh, something in those po pockets would be perfect and then it's got these little organizer slots here you've got these uh some elastic here where you could actually you know have a wind up cord of something maybe your you know charger for your laptop or your tablet or whatever your phone i mean whatever put it in uh that cord area and then it's got a mini little pocket here again where you could put another phone or other sort of backup battery you know depending on what you have and then it's got this teeny tiny little zipper space which i really appreciate for any sort of maybe you just have a couple just normal batteries or maybe you have some sd drives or you know um, things like that video cards other little things that you might want to put in there and then it's got a little snapping feature here where you could put another form of cord snap it in and keep it nice and safe but again it's wide it can hold a lot of stuff and just so you know the price tag does say 40 this one was not on sale because it is a Disney print, but yeah, let's go fill it up and see what we can do in this Disney cord organizer. All right, here it is. It's mostly full. Um, I'll be honest. I have a lot of uh, electronic bags that I keep organized. You know, just my camera stuff is in one bag. So I always know where that is. I do keep my, you know, laptop cord with my actual laptop but what i needed a bag for was for all the other you know things that other cords that we use when we travel so the family has one spot to go when they need a backup pack or they need a a whatever so that's what i got this for so that's what's inside here is you know kind of my extras my backup stuff it's pretty full although there's still plenty of spots and space on top so I do have three extra, you know, backup USB cords in case someone forgot one of theirs at home or all of a sudden we need more than we realized. I have a backup battery pack in here. In fact, I have two backup battery packs in here. I have one of those multi uh, outlet and USB chargers because depending on what hotel room you're going into, there might not be any. 
And then of course I've got another backup battery. This one's cute, it's a donut. I've got locks. I do lock up my stuff when it's in the hotel room, especially my camera equipment and my laptop and things like that. In the little pocket area over here, I do have all my extra camera batteries and uh, you know, my SD cards. So yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty hefty bag. It does hold a lot of stuff. I could totally see me putting my other charger in here, a few other USB cords, my actual phone charger cord when I'm actually traveling can go in here. I do keep the equipment that I'm using in the moment, the camera, camera equipment I'm using in the moment on me um, at the time, but I do have a lot of backup stuff that we use just in case, just in case the room didn't have enough cords or enough plugs or in case someone in the house forgot their something, I usually have a backup source. So that's why I got this, but yeah, I'm pretty pleasantly surprised. What I also know, what I also realized is when you open the zipper, there's like all these cute little hidden mini fabric pieces. See those, how cute those are? So yeah, that's the cord organizer. Probably gonna keep this one. I, like I said, I just like having one spot that my family knows to go to for all the extra stuff that they need for their electronics. Now the last thing I purchased, I actually got this for a very specific reason. This is uh, Vera Bradley's Utility Small Crossbody Bags. So I did get this bag as a theme park bag, so we're gonna check that out for that purpose. But I specifically picked out this one because of the look. For those of you who don't know, we are headed on the Galactic Star Cruiser here very, very soon. And I was trying to find a bag that would work well with my Star Wars cosplay outfit, but also be useful in the park. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And then we're gonna fill it with park, you know, park bag stuff to see if it'll hold everything I need it to hold because this might become my new Bat 2 or, you know, Galaxy's Edge or Galactic Star Cruiser park bag. So let's check it out, ready? All right, so I opened it up, I took out all the stuffing and here it is right here. It's kind of hard to see because it's black, right? But this is what makes it a utility bag is it has this flap right here and this deep pocket, which I'm hoping will hold a water bottle and this will hold either my camera or my cell phone. But the main reason I got it was for the look. I'm hoping if I sew some netting or something on here that it will kind of look like Ray from Star Wars was using it. That's kind of what I was going for, but we'll see how this works out. But anyway, this is the front of the bag. It does have those two main pockets. I will note that the bag is very Thin. It's not very wide, which could affect its usefulness for me. As you can see, it's it's not very thick. What is that, an inch? So it's not very wide if you're trying to cram this thing full. And then the inside is not very Star Wars. It is very uh, feminine with florals. It's kind of like white with some, you know, olive green floral in here. But, you know, when I'm character bounding, no one's going to see the inside. It has a main zipper space, which is great for you to put your wallet and things that you don't want to lose. I don't know if I would put that stuff on the outside. I'd probably put it on the inside zipper. Then there's two uh, pockets in here where you could also put items that you need, you know, to grab real quickly out of your bag. And then that's pretty much it. The rest of it's just kind of the main compartment space. So it's got one large zipper, two little like hand pockets next to the zipper and this main space. It is a crossbody bag that you can adjust to make cross or shoulder. And then it uh, talks about how it's got an easy, quick clip away so you can quickly take it off or take it on. I don't know if that feature is gonna be handy for me, but um, yeah, at this point, I'm not madly in love with it. It does seem a little on the small side. And I also don't like that these outside pockets right here are really thick. 
like they really feel quilted like Vera Bradley, you know, obviously quilted. Feels really thick. I was hoping for something a little bit more thin, maybe a little bit more stretchy, something I could roughen up and look more Star Wars than say uh, what it looks right now. But we're gonna we're gonna stuff it full and see what it looks like. But yeah, this is the Utility Small crossbody bag. And oh yeah, I was gonna tell you guys the reason I bought it is it's sixty five dollars, but I got it on sale for thirty five. So for a thirty five dollar park bag that's gonna get ruined and destroyed, could be perfect. But let's uh, stuff it full and see. All right, she's all filled and I can already tell you I am gonna be returning this bag. It is just slightly too small, which is unfortunate, but I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm talking about. So here we go, here she is right here, um, loaded up with everything I would take to the theme park, give or take a few probably little things that I forgot. So I've got a water bottle here. Now normally I would use uh, this one, but it's too big. So I have a vitamin water in here, which is kind of the same size as like just a, a water bottle, but it's, it's tight. It's a tight fit. It's not easy getting in, getting out. So for me, because I always have to have water, that's kind of a deal breaker. But without the water, this is it. I do have things that I kind of carry on the side of my bag, my sanitizer, my chapstick, my sunglasses case, which makes it look a little less uh, Star Wars-y, which is unfortunate. Um, I can't really put that stuff inside the bag because it won't fit, but that's just something to note. But this outside pocket is perfect for a cell phone, and this other pocket does hold my camera, so that's perfect. But let's, let's go inside, shall we? So the inside pocket, again, here's, my cell phone, it does fit on the outside. So you could do cell phone and tiny water bottle maybe, or cell phone and just other things you like to quickly grab. For me, it's, it's camera. I gotta be able to get my camera in and out easily. But here it is stuffed on the inside. Now remember, the more stuff you put on the inside, the chubbier it gets, is that the right word? That it's harder for you to get stuff in the pockets on the outside because you overstuffed the inside. But I swear there's not, there's not that much in here. So um, we're gonna break it down. So in the main, main area, I have my EpiPen. Unfortunately, I do have to carry an EpiPen with me everywhere. But you can see the size of this thing. It's not that big. Um, it could be a backup battery pack, you know, so just kind of note that in your head if you don't carry an epi. A granola bar, glasses wipe or sun, you know, camera wipe, and just my little container that I put gum, Advil, you know, allergy meds, whatnot is in there. That's all I had in that main compartment. See, it wasn't that much. And in one of the little pocket areas, I do have my wallet, which is important. The other pocket area, I do have my backup battery pack and a couple of pens. You never know when you need to fill something out. And then in the zipper, right, that back zipper, this is what I have back there. Again, I was just trying to put stuff back there that would just stay out of the way of the main compartment. So I have little flossers, a backup wipe, nail filer. How many times you guys break in a nail on vacation? Me, like 100. Just a quickie little sunscreen in case I have to touch up a few spots a backup mask lanyard in case mine snaps. Yes, that happens. Um, I have these weird things that I use if it rains. Oh, that's another thing that didn't fit in here, an umbrella or a poncho. Just, just throwing out ideas here. I bring these when it rains. I connect my camera to the umbrella and that's how I film in the rain. Yeah, little, little note there, guys. I have two of them. And then my camera equipment, my backup batteries, stuff like that. Um, allergy cards and you know gift cards and then backup Ziploc baggies backup batteries in case you get a you know a little cut or a foot blister I have these for but that's it that that's all that was in here that's empty so that's not a lot of stuff for me I carry quite a bit of stuff in the parks not only because I'm a mom I'm a youtuber I carry all this camera equipment Food allergies don't help. I always have an EpiPen or a granola bar or something to eat as a just in case. If you are someone who's just grabbing a few little items, then this bag could be perfect for you. I do love the outside because it's an easy way to quickly grab your cell phone and put it away 
without it always being in your pants pocket. Sometimes some of those rides, you know, if you get in the ride and when you get out, that cell phone easily falls out of your pants pocket. So having a spot where you can stick it in your bag is super handy. I also want to note that if you want to wear it crossbody, this is what it looks like. I have it kind of higher up crossbody for a reason, but you can see I have my things dangling on the side here on the strap and you've got the two pockets so it's easy for you to grab whatever you need and then, you know, unzip and grab out. But the reason I have it so low is so you can kind of treat it like a sling bag and turn it around and carry it on your back. You see that? So you can flip it and make it kind of like a backpack. Do you guys kind of get what I'm talking about here? It's really easy to just sling it forward, walk around, do your thing, and then when you get on a ride, you're getting ready to sit, you just swing it and put it in front of you. So you can easily carry it in front of you on the side, crossbody, right? Or fling it in the back and wear it kind of like a backpack. This is how I was gonna wear it to uh, be more like Rey from Star Wars. She, uh, in a couple of the scenes, she has a bag that she wears on her backside like a backpack, but it's truly a crossbody. So that's kind of where I was going with this look. But unfortunately, it's it's just too small for me. There's no way I can go to bat too without my water. It's just, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna get incredibly thirsty. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I realized, you know, I was jumping around a little bit and I'm, you know, trying different bags and putting different things in there. But this is so I can help you see what would fit in these bags, because obviously you don't have the same stuff as me, but you know, you've got relatively the same size things as me. So hopefully this helps you out decide if maybe you need an upgrade your uh, cosmetic bag and I gave you two great options. Um, I think I'm going to keep mine and of course I think my mom's going to love hers. Sadly this uh, cross patty ba bag isn't going to work for me but it could work for you. It's a really you know good bag and it's lightweight which is great. Feels really good on my back. It's not too heavy so I love that. And I, I can't pass up a Disney print, I just can't. And to have something to store all the family cords in is a, a pretty big perk, especially, you know, traveling right now. Everyone's got a device, everyone's got a cord, something needs to be plugged in. Outlets are not created equal, so you do have to kind of plan ahead and bring all that, you know, camera, tech, tablet, phone gear with you. So why not put it in a case? So as always, guys, I hope this video helped you out. Again, I hope it wasn't too crazy, but don't worry. We'll be back to my usual tips and tricks for the next videos. But yeah, as always, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray the bell icon for notifications, like this video and comment. Do you like these types of videos or are you like Nina? We don't care what you buy at Vera Bradley. Don't show us anymore. Or are you like, yeah, actually I am looking for new things to make packing easier. I am looking for a better park bag because if that's how you guys feel, then I'll keep showing you guys the things that I do purchase for our vacations. Because as I'm always trying to find the perfect something, Something I'm currently using is always breaking and I have to buy a new item. So yeah, I'm always kind of looking out for these things and purchasing them on my own. So let me know in the comments, guys. But as always, mahalo for watching. Nina, out. Bye.